Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Our hot topic for today is a very sad story about a man who left his wife and kids for 10 years, said he left to be with another woman, and now is returned 10 years after on a wheelchair apologizing and asking to be taken care of by his former wife. The story had it that his, um, the person he left to be with for that 10 years, when he fell ill and lost the leg fun function, the person threw him out of the house that because the person couldn't handle taking care of him in that state of disability. So people are now saying, should she receive him back into the house, being that he's the husband of her youth and the father of her children, or should, he also, should she move on with her life? Her friends that supported her during the time when the man abandoned her and she had to raise these children by herself are also the ones that put the question online. So we'd like to hear from you. Please call us on 0810-764179. And you can also tweet to us our comment on YouTube. We would like to hear your opinion on this story. We've discussed it a bit during the break, so we sort of know where we are leaning towards. Mm -hmm. BC, would you want to give your opinion, or should I start with Moyo? Let me start put Moyo on this top. Oh, because I did not hear Moyo's opinion. <laughs> Moyo, um, one, we have fairly balanced show. Two Muslims, two Christians. Um, there's the Islamic part, there's the moral part, there is the societal part of forgiveness and acceptance. What would you advise this woman to do who's had to raise the children for the past 10 years without any support to now have to nurture a crippled husband who abandoned her? Hmm. Yes, so. so which one is Muslim, <laughs> Christian? Eh, no, because you, uh, there's a the rebellious be, part. There is no <laughs> acceptance <laughs> any religious parts. Mm. <laughs> Islam says no matter how long, mm. forgive and mm. don't retaliate back. Mm. That wow. No matter what, don't pay evil <laughs> for evil. Okay. If you are in a space or you have the opportunity of extending a helping hand, you should for your own sake and for, you know, for the mercy of God because they say you without the sin cast the first stone. Abi, so that is what religion says. <clears throat> what Moya says? <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be different from what religion says? Yes. Moya is a religious person. Yes. <laughs> mm. Ten years, then he came back crippled. So he didn't come back whole. He didn't come back whole. The mm. husband the of my youth, the came father the of my children. <laughs> so is it that I'm going to nurse him? Do you know, I, I read up of a story that the woman... The man left her for like eight years or thereabouts, and he came back, he came with a stroke, and the woman nursed him to health. And after he became healthy, he, went again. Like, he went even gave again. her blow in the chest, <laughs> gave, ah. gave her black eye, <laughs> and went know, again. And went again. He now brought one small mm. quaker girl again, again. You understand? He married one small quaker girl. So it's, I'm not like wondering that. So, what is now the essence? Of, you can forgive and move on. I'm sure she, she, she's in a place of healing by now because 10 years is a long time. I'm sure that feeling, that emotion, that attachment no would, would not, and our children survive. What about if she, has, she died in the process or our children died in the process? Will you see anybody to come back home to? Personally, me, I don't think I will accept him back. I'll forgive him. Oh, he can have his relationship with his children. Oh. His children are grown. Be they should go and take care of their father. Oh. But me... I might have married now. Well, we are forgiving you. We are forgiving you. Ten years, you're waiting. You're not waiting, right? You're not waiting, right? You're not waiting, you're not you're not waiting, right? you're not you're not waiting baby girl. Because I still have my youth. You understand? <laughs> so, I, so I guess he's coming back because he has, he, he has noticed that I've not moved on. What if I have a man in my life? Exactly. Will he come but back? In this, in this particular case, she hasn't moved on. She's she hasn't. taking care of the children. That's why there's room. She hasn't in, moved on. Yes, yeah, she's, she's, she's well, living. moving on does not necessarily mean she must have mm. another man in her life. She has moved on. Yeah. Mm. And then you come. You're going to open up wounds. And you are coming after 10 years. You didn't come the way you left. You came on a wheelchair. And then me, I will not accept but you. But what about I'm if sorry. your way, if you forgive him, maybe he will now see the bad. I'm forgiving him, but he can't be with me. good. Mm. I'm forgiving him, but he can't be with me. You can't come after 10 years and then come and then you want us to continue life. And then uh, and you're coming on a wheelchair. That means I'm going to start nursing you, taking care of you. And, you know, you're coming with responsibility when I should be coming. That you have been done. Exactly. After <laughs> by the side, going <laughs> down and be relaxing. I'll come back to point. the two of you. Let me hear. Because the two of you are on the same side. I don't understand how the two of you can be saying, we we'll don't forgive you. Do not not sure you not take care of. Be care. <laughs> so let me put it this way. Why are you not going to see me? What if... <laughs> What if, let's look at it this way, is, it, is the issue that because she abandoned 
he him, abandoned because he abandoned her uh -huh. or because he's in a, she's in, he's in a wheelchair you know because at the, at first sight there are two women that are in this scene mm. one woman is the one that's meant to accept the abandoned uh, man mm. and the other woman that he spent 10 years with abandoned him mm -hmm. that's because also part of could, the story she couldn't deal so that means that some women cannot deal with an infirmity yeah and from the conversation, they say, ah, I cannot deal, I cannot deal. Is the dealing because of the abandonment or dealing with, I cannot deal with infirmity? They've said, statistically, there's a man that released um, um, a nurse, nurse that gave a report in Nigeria that many Nigerian men in the men hospital are abandoned. Are abandoned. Mm. The women have, a, a, an old woman in the hospital or sick woman in the hospital has the men, has the children, <coughs> have the children, church members, people checking on them. But the men rarely have that as many people checking in on them. So yeah. is there an underlining issue? of men not getting nurtured when they have issues the same way women get nurtured when they have issues? That's so, my question so, to you. So, so um, let me try to answer the question because I wanted to start from somewhere else, but let me go with the question first. Um, there's a reason why you should take care of the partner of your youth. Mm -hmm. Because life itself is difficult. There are hard times that will come. Either way, it could be the woman who is sick tomorrow and they are carrying from one hospital to the other. It could be the man who is sick tomorrow. What keeps you in that stressful moment is the memories of the good you have received from your partner. Mm -hmm. The memories of the kindness you have received from your partner. The memories of every how he has treated you over the years. And then you... Even in the middle of the stress where you are cleaning the poo-poo mm. and carrying him and feeding him and all of that, you, you flash back to those memories, memories. of his goodness. Mm -hmm. And that is what keeps a woman, right? Um, we have passed the generation of our mothers where the, the culture that they received was anyhow, anyhow, man, na man. Mm -hmm. Whether he comes back with half lego, he comes back with a half mouth, or you will accept him because you are married for better and for what. That culture is eroding as we speak. People are waking up to say, I cannot take your nonsense. And then you come back and you expect me again to start doing another level of sacrifice after I have healed. Because mm. 10 years is a long time for a woman to go through the tears, yes. go through the pain, mm. go through the stress of taking care of children all by herself. Nobody to call. And then she begins to find herself and pick up herself. Maybe it's at that point Seth, that she's already gaining her herself self. back. She probably she has gotten an, a job. She's now trying to look beautiful for the very first time. And then you show up again. Now you show up. You can't double and can't show up on a wheelchair. wheelchair. Are, are you high? Exactly. It's not fair. It's not fair on the woman. Yeah. It's not fair on your daughter. If it was your daughter, would you like that for your daughter? Because many men do not process if this happens to my own blood. Till they start processing, if this happens to my own daughter, how would I feel? You will see that things will change. So um, I was watching um, a movie recently on Netflix, uh, Finding Ola, mm. and it, more like a, oh, this mm -hmm. is a short series. Limited. Series. Limited uh, series. And the woman, the man just woke up one day and said he was bored of the marriage. This is a woman who had given everything the way she was doing her best with the kids and everything to make the marriage work. And he just wakes up and says he's bored. And he has to go. But, but, but before the woman realized, he did not serve divorce people. Mm -mm. So they divorced. Now the woman was hurt. She was heartbroken. She had to go back to now start finding herself. Oh. She left her job. She was a psych... A psycho, um, what's these people that work in um, the hospitals? A, a doctor. Uh, psychological... Uh, psychologist. Psychologist, thank you. She was a psychologist. And she had abandoned the job to be able to cater, cater for, for the, family. the family. He was a medical doctor. He continued with his career and everything. Mm -hmm. So when uh, uh, nobody to take care of the kids now, there's no money. He, he promised to send money, but the woman was like, how, how can you send money for all of my needs? I have to be able to work and also provide. And so she decided to start up a business, a skincare business that she's always had. She's always made for people locally. And then she mm. says, okay, let me blow it. And then business started booming. You and know, the and then guys started looking at her. Very pretty woman. And all of a sudden, the man broke up with his own smolly and, then and now she... decided to come back. So I was watching the movie. Anytime my husband gets home, he was like, ah, where are we now? I'll debrief him mm. on the yeah, series. Yeah. So by the time he came back the other day, I was like, has she finally got back to her husband? I said, eh, where? <laughs> it's not Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Nigeria. Where mm. you just think you a can, man is the do all and say all. You can go out, do whatever, do the nonsense. Once you come, because you're a man, oh, mm. a father figure, mm -hmm. oh, this one, everybody's running helter, helter to accept you. 
we need to start taking responsibility for our actions. If you do not treat somebody well, for whatever reason, do not expect that the person will show you the same measure. In fact, the energy you give is the energy you receive. Mm. If you put it at the back of your mind, you realize a lot of people will not do certain things because mm. they know that at the end of the day, they will receive the same energy that they are given. So uh, this kind of case will not even happen to us. Because one year, you go, I don't move, <laughs> you I don't pot. You won't even see sharp, anybody sharp. come back to. to come back for what? Now, my you even come exactly. and knock on the door. So that's just it. For, um, knock on the door. Ironically, so what, Ironically, I, I feel like deep down, because we are not perfect, we are all humans and we all have our flaws and we fall at one point or the other. Okay. If, I'm in the, if I have the opportunity to lend a helping hand, I will. I'm not saying I will go back to the marriage, okay. but I will. I will not leave him in that state mm. that he is. Because I do not want a situation where if he dies, in that condition, I might have my own guilt. Yes. And that guilt is going to be forever. Thank you so I much. I want to do the best for my children to know that I tried. I'm not saying I'm going to love him or, or marry him, or, but I will just do my own. And say, okay, as, by, by vows and everything, I said in sickness and health, I will just help you during this period as best as I can. Yeah, good woman. I'll take care of him. Yeah, you bring yeah, him home. Good woman. I bring him home. I no, can I don't, I don't understand. An arrangement, but I why, why are we so I'll averse be, I'll be, to? Supportive. accepting the man back because we feel like 10 years is such a long period of time and because he has made a mistake in the 10 years if he had come back a billionaire would you not accept him back no 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 you, the two of you from your earlier statement apart from what you just changed it now your opinion was <laughs> when he came back he came back crippled uh, yes. so mm -hmm. i'm not supposed to now be nursing but if he mm -hmm. came back and he said okay in that 10 years that I went, yes, I went to another woman. We've had stories. This one, let me tell you a mm. true life story. This yes, person course, left Nigeria to go abroad, to the abroad. Got to the abroad. He was supposed to get there and then ask for the family in Nigeria to join mm. him. And then 10 years passed. He did not ask for family to join. Oga has married somebody over there. Mm. So he says it's for documentation. But documentation did not include child. So mm. that one born child for him mm. and born second child Anyhow. for him. Then relationship had solidified for several years. Then suddenly, just remember that I, I left my family in Nigeria and wow. I would love to, you know, support them and all of that. Divorce has happened in the abroad, but he's coming to Nigeria now with money. He's coming to Nigeria, he's, he's bought a car, rented house. Like, he's now like, I've, 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 my eyes are now open. I should have done this right from time. I am so sorry. And he's accepted. He comes back and he meets me a billionaire, uncle. Or you think I'll be sticking around waiting for him? Mm -hmm. Did he know how I was but feeling when accepted, he left? No, but no. they accepted. This person yeah, so, 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 emotional needs. So I think people... Um, so are we sure it is not the sickness? No, no, no. I think or, people have their different the threshold money. for different things. Mm -hmm. There are some men, uh, women, even with the sickness, the fact that uh, my, my Olowo Rimi, the husband of my youth has come back. It is something to testify of in church. I would accept it. Yes, he came back. We've, we've heard anyhow, the testimony before. Yes. Anyhow you come back, just come back to me. Mm. Ah, I've they won dealt with him. The yes. Lord showed him. They now realize I that I am the only woman made for him. They will accept. Mm. It's their style. There are other women who will not accept because they feel that at the time where you're supposed to be with me, you left me to handle my emotions all, by the myself. emotion where you don't scatter, mm -hmm. all by myself. I go to a point where I can now live without you comfortably mm -hmm. and have fun living without you. So there are certain things when it comes to emotions. Sometimes I always tell people, do not make your partner live without you mm -hmm. by the way you treat them. Because once they get to that point where they can live without you, yeah. there's no coming back. Especially for you. When they are still reliant on the emotional needs mm -hmm. you're giving to me, the emotions I'm sharing with you and all of that. Hey, I can't live with, like me now, I can't live without um, my husband. Hey, I, I, I want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I can't. Mm -hmm. But if I get to a point in the relationship, maybe he starts well, misbehaving. Well, we are just roommates. Yes. He starts misbehaving. And a woman takes time to shut off their high emotions. Mm -hmm. It's a process for a man. It's like this for a woman. It's a process. Yeah. And I get to that point where that emotion is shut off from you. Ha. There's no coming back There's from no that. End of this so some women actually get there. Some others don't get there. They don't even want to process it. They keep hoping and praying that he will find his way back. Mm. So you, where they marry, look the kind of woman where you marry. Whether or not the type will go stick around, or the type that will not stick around. And it's written on their forehead, though. You will know those ones that can take your nonsense and those that cannot take your nonsense. So you, you know, know so this, this, thing is very, um, so this thing is very, very common. I've noticed that a lot of men, 
once they get to a certain point in their marriage, they always... Oh, I have Vivian. Leave. I'm so sorry. I'll come to you, Ramato, but Vivian has been holding for a while. Vivian, welcome to the show. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Vivian. Somebody call me now. You said it not. Let's go sorry. Yeah, I've been waiting. I'm so sorry. Now, something similar like that happened to me before. It's what is easy to forgive. All of you, if you are a Christian, you should know that people are believing, it's so easy to forgive. My husband did something to me, the same thing. I have to go on fasting, religion, and prayers before I can forgive him. Hmm. What is it to forgive? Go so back to what we are discussing right now. As a Christian, the Bible says marriage is a start of war. Hmm. Yes, the men will always be men. They are wicked from the bottom of their heart. But because of the children, when we take him back yeah. and take care of him, they coming on the bed having a circle that to not be there. Okay. How we take care of him as a Christian? Because the Bible says, God says, then just is mine. Mm. Of course, for him to come back on a wheelchair, I am very sorry to say this. He has, he has been receiving his punishment mm. already. Mm. So I, as a Christian, mm. as a wife, I will mm. not add more because God says vengeance is mine. Mm. Thank you so much, Vivian. So Thank you so much, Vivian. Vivian said oh, men are said. wicked. <laughs> Um, no, but, but what she said, uh, I will take care of him, but he was not going to stay in my house. He will go to maybe all these rehab homes. I can go be visiting from time to time and making sure that he's okay. But he's not going to stay in my home because he has cost me so much pain. One business. See, the way top is trapped yes. up and down. So I've noticed that a lot of have? men, at some point in the marriage, they always have that distraction. And sometimes they get carried away with that crisis. distraction and then they leave. Yes, they call it midlife crisis. I've had someone break it down. You understand that when they go, that's when they start seeing all the faults, everything wrong with that first wife, with the woman in the house. They will now, that other one that is outside is giving you all the best. You know, if you are dating somebody, the first two hours, three hours, four hours, you see the person every day, you realize that that four hours, the person will give you all her all best. Her best yeah. But this one in the house, too. yes, but this one in the house, finish. you have finished seeing the person. You people know each other very well. Everything, you have known all her. You know, every single thing about her, all the bad parts about her and everything, you just concentrate on that one and you're like, you can't live with her again. By the time you go, you, know, you didn't enjoy that place. You are not coming back. I don't think I will accept you. Just like I said, you go somewhere and I will, you know, discharge my duties from there. I'm not saying that I'm not going to be... Is this still your duties? Because even in um, courts, when you are separated for... Over Abandonment. Uh, yes, over two you can, years. Over two years, you can, you can be. No yes. I know. Of the, the, the I know thing of is, let me take um, okay. Jerry's call. Jerry has called in. Then we'll now come back to what the man said because you have children together. Mm, so? You have children together. Once you have a child with someone, you have a lifetime ties with that. You have lifetime ties with that person, and so you cannot just treat the person like someone that just you just dated for a while and you have moved on. It is yeah, there's connection forever. Jerry, welcome to the show. Good morning. We use the razor. <laughs> Which connection are we talking about? The, the, the last, last caller said, said, struggled. The last caller said? said something. He said, if a man comes back in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. God has already given him his punishment. Yeah, he's already suffering punishment. Let me, I will not add more to that suffering. I'm going to consider the fact that we have children together and I will be compassionate towards the person. See, we have people that, they are, they are even some people, forgiveness, and I, and I like what she said about forgiveness, that um, my husband did something, she had to pray and fast to get into forgiveness. Forgiveness is something we've spoken about a few times on it this is, show. Yeah. And it's beyond talking about um, who you are married to. Even parents, even children struggle to forgive their parents for abandonment. And abandonment happens for different reasons. We might be seeing, we might not know the entirety of the story based on our perspective right now. What we're just hearing is the man left and is with another woman. But what if something, was, something else happened that triggered his exit? Or like the story I shared of someone I know, it was not even 10 years, over 10 years the man spent abroad left the family here, maybe in the time he was gone, he sent money just maybe two or three times, maximum of three times he sent money. But somehow, the conversation was, he was struggling when he was there, he was undocumented, he finally got documented through marriage, and then the person manipulated the marriage into a serious thing, and now he's back. Mm. But he came back with money in this case. 
and you have not answered me. But I this is said if it, even if it comes up in money, we'll still have moved on. It's not about, but it's not about money. I feel his loneliness yes. in his old age that he's probably worried about. Because I know that there are many men that would leave, then come back. Because a lot of men are actually fearing old loneliness in old age. So I think that's um would I say um the companionship, companionship, yes, that's the word. What makes them come is back? What makes them come back? That's because where go why didn't they companion him there? Yeah, exactly. Because now Ibo go meet now. Ibo no say. Ibo does not. Ibo is your Ibo in the story. It's not, no, in this story, we don't know who the person is. Okay. So, so the, the general consensus from this conversation, so, bringing we, it to a close. Before we do general consensus, if it was a woman that left for ten years, would the woman, would, would the, the, the man, man accept? accept? Mm. I think our it, the society does not the society doesn't expect the the man to, to come back. The, the woman, Why? The society does Who not makes expect. The society? No, no. The society does not expect that if a woman leaves, the man can survive without a woman. Okay. So the expectation oh. is once a woman, if a, if a woman steps out of the house, the man cannot survive. So the man automatically remarries. But a woman, they are expecting that you can stay five years, ten years without a man, and you will still be. Facing you your children, functional. you'll be facing, you'll be functional self. facing your children. So because of that, the expectation is that we can always come back and meet you, and the man already has already married somebody else. So you, there's no home for you to go back to meet. So Some culture is even a taboo for a woman to leave and then come back. Uh -huh. not even so that already solves brain. So uh, in conclusion, we want to, we want to, I, I would like us to. There's another topic, something that really, really trended um, in the past few days. Something about unforgiveness and jealousy and the side effects. So it's like sort of like a spin-off from this story because the general consensus concerning this story is that for many women, the sense of abandonment is so strong in them that they feel if mentally, if you have moved on mentally or moved on physically, there is no room to accept any man back, whether on wheelchair or not. Or not. Whether you're you coming back with or wheelchair not. or you're coming back with a lot of money. The point is, 10 years have moved on. So you too, move on. Um, and for some women, for a few women, they would say because of the goodness of their heart and because of the relationship they have, they would support in the way they can, especially since it's coming back in, with infirmity, out of the goodness of their heart, they would support infirmity, but don't expect to come back into my life, into my bed, into my house. So um, forgiveness is good, but you, cannot, you can't get forgiveness and expect that after that forgiveness, you will just pick it up from where you left it off, like it's a machine you. yeah, that you've left distance. behind. So I think with that, I can conclusively say um, I've spoken the mind of majority of women that are watching this show. If you, call, if you disagree with me, you can call in when we return from the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.